Hello folks, thank you so much for tuning in to another Before the Pin Spread. I'm going to include a card from my previous Before the Pin Spread. And this is the Before the Pin Spread I created for this week in my a Pie Bullet Journal. I really love how the Mad for Plaid sticker came out and I was able to use my favorite color green, various tones of green as well as pink too. Starting off, I like to have the hand lettered effect for the days of the week and I am able to accomplish that using my zig pin that I got from my local Michael's store. Now I do notice sometimes it switches from Michael's to Hobby Lobby so it kind of depends on the ones in your area and when in doubt you can always get stuff online nowadays so you don't have to be limited to those two stores that I named Amazon, eBay also can carry different types of pins. This isn't necessarily a hand lettering pin, but I'm able to go ahead and if you know how, you can make practically any pin a hand lettering pin. After I've put down my days of the week to my satisfaction, I go ahead and I start decorating. Now the stickers I was using, they were from a seasonal pack and i really in love with fall boots and jackets and the fact that the sun is not as hot. However, it still is very hot where I'm at, but I had to use this map for plaid sticker and put that page flag right in the corner just so that's the first thing you see whenever you look at that page. So beautiful. The sticker is also very beautiful. I put down my half box falling leaves stickers. Even though I haven't seen any falling leaves as of yet in September, it's happening. A beautiful deco sticker of a girl looking behind or we see her back view with a beautiful green hat. And I know this jade green, in my opinion, appears to be really popular or olive green. It depends on how you call it. That's another shade of green that I like. On top of my number one being kind of like the sea foam green or like a teal color. I still kind of group teal in the the green family but I wanted to put another homemade page flag using some washi tape and I wanted to put another sticker that said keep calm and coffee on coffee has been my best friend and um, a lot of the different stores have these different seasonal flavors that have pumpkin attached to it some way I haven't gotten those but I did get another coffee brand. I can't remember what the flavor was, but it just smells really good. I think it was um, toffee something. It smells really good. It's like one of those Keurig pods. So yeah, I love using those. I put a Hello Autumn sticker. And in the meantime, what I also wanted to do was put down some of the washi tape and I have been using some of my favorite little micro washi to actual completion I'm kind of sad about that because it's my favorite one so obviously I like it I tried to use like this card to cut the washi tape it wasn't successful on this one I think I had to end up using um, scissors to cut it because it would rip on one side just fine. I don't know, it ripped at the, on Monday just fine, but it did not rip whenever I tried to put it on Sunday. It's weird how that happens. And I think I had kind of like damaged the page trying to rip it up with the scissors, but 
it happens to us all. That's just a part of planning. And yes, I have to go through all of that just to get a straight line. Ridiculous, right? And the line wasn't even all that straight. <laughs> I like to layer stickers, especially with it being fall. I wanted to add some other leaves. Now I know these aren't the regular autumn leaf colors that we see, like orange and brown, the ones that are weathered or weathering and falling off of the tree. But I still thought that it kind of added a beautiful accent to the spread. The sweater says slay. I just think that is so absolutely cute. I used other decorative stickers. Some that were happy planners, some that were from the seasonal sticker book which I believe is either Agenda 52 or OLL. And you have to add in a three quarters box. It's not really a full box, but it's like three quarters of the way of a full box. I put down the Today sticker and I put down a decorative page flag. I layered it with another sticker as well. Really liked how that turned out. And I put down a Be Blessed sticker as well just to kind of note the things that I wanted to do for Sunday. And for the most part, this is the completed spread, you guys. I always appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. Hopefully this inspires you to pull out a planner that you haven't used in a long time and continue to plan. So I'm just going to be adding the finishing touches if you want to see the completed thing. And again, have a wonderful and blessed week, you guys. Take care.